Hi there, as an app seed developer, you are building an amazing app. But what if you could unlock even more potential with a streamlined user onboarding process? In this video, I will show you how to automate user onboarding for any specified app seed app. Let's get started. So what I have here is an app called Onboardly. It is designed and developed by myself, Danny, a Google developer expert in Google Workspace. With Onboardly, we can do the following key things. Grant access to new user instantly without any manual step in the app seed editor. Manage permissions for all of your user and ensure your app are secured. Get a clear overview of all your app and their status and categories, making it easy to keep track of your projects. Onboardly offer three ways to onboarding new user to your app seed app. The first one is the web form. Your potential user simply fill in this web form with their information and they are granted instantly a set to your app seed app. The second one is that app owner can ask user directly from Onboardly app. And the last one is to automate onboarding new user to any specified app seed app from Google Chat directly. So that's for the concept of the app. Now let's see it in action. So what I have here is a list of applications and one of them is a public asset app. Currently, I am setting this app status like anyone with link can register to you. Imagine that if you uh, design and build a app seed app that's very valuable and you want to provide that app like an SaaS product. So in that case, you will need to automate onboarding new user who register to you your application with the link. So I will walk through the process right now. So first of all, I copy the app link and I open the link here. And I'm going to the link and you see that currently it is a set denied for, for this account because I didn't register to use for this account. Be then I go to the form and I will uh, register to do the application. And here, for example, I, uh, with the name like the user file, and here, for example, for the app link, uh, I got this uh, somehow because we will distribute this link on, on internet. And uh, here is admin, uh, I will fill in the requester either similar with the, the email address. So here is user file. And submit the form. So as soon as I submit to the form, and then I'm going to my Gmail and I receive a notification. And here I got the uh, button to click the link. And also I set the expiry date here. So if I click to the link, and you see that I am now be able to access to the link. And if I'm going back to here and click here and walk to the login process, I get that I will be able to access to the applic this application. Okay, that's, that's it. And then uh, also the new user information has already uh, uh, going to the user menu here. So user file. So let's say that I want to remove this user. So in this case, I will click to this button and I will remove this button. And we will wait until it's uh, synchronized the data. And I'm going back to here. And then you can see that I receive a new notification here. And if I click to app link, and the asset deny appear for this account again. So uh, let's see that. Uh, let's say that I want to reactive this uh, user, this user. So I'm going to the user and select that user and click to the reactive button here. 
So we will wait until it's uh, synchronized the data. And then if we're going back to here, so let uh, refresh the login. And now if we click to this one and walk to the login process, and I think we uh, be able to accept the, the app now. Let's do it one more time because the Google usually uh, save the cookie for, for, for our section. Let's see. Okay, here it is. So we uh, now be able to accept the application again. So for the, the next uh, workflow, I will first I will remove this uh, user out of the, the, the application. So that's uh, and then I'm going here. Let's say that now I want to change the the status of the of the application from the anyone with link can register to uh, to whitelist to only allow whitelisted user. And um, also I will need to remove the user file out of uh, the application, for example. And now uh, here you see that the app status now changed to whitelisted asset only. And the public status is uh, from yes to no. If I change it again, you see that it's here. Okay, and then uh, now uh, with this data, only the people here will be allowed to submit to the form. So let's uh, try it again. So here I uh, use the similar form like previously to saving time. If the requester email is admin, and then uh, if I uh, click submit button, then I'm going to here, and uh, let's click here. So I get we got the new one. So if I click to this one, so do you see that I am now uh, I cannot accept uh, to the app. The reason why because the only these people this email uh, has permission to submit to the form. But now, if I going back to the uh, the form, and let's say that I choose one of the email here, and I paste the e the request here, and he is, for example, the line manager of the user. Uh, this the uh, manager will submit to allow, allow this user to accept the app. Now I will click to this one to submit the form and I'm going back to this one and if I re-log in and I think that I'm now be able to accept to the app again. So you see, uh, I've got the, and also I uh, received a, a, a a new notification that the the the, um, the manager has allowed me to 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 accept to the application. So uh, and then uh, here I also have a button to uh, to change the projects uh, to the status. So let's see that. Um, First of all, let's see that I win. Uh, let me refresh the application first. And let's see that I change the app to the anyone with link again. And currently, the status is the active. So if I click here to change the, uh, the, state, uh, the, the project status, it means that this project is no longer active. And then if I go to this one to register to you, let me check whether the user, okay. 
So we are going back to this one. And now if I, you see that the app currently uh, set setting as any one weak link uh, can, uh, uh, can use the app, but the project status is no longer support. So if I register to you, for example, this one, and previously I remember that we are not oops. I will go back here to uh, copy the app link again and then I paste the link here and uh, here is user 6 for example and for the request I uh, feel the similar and user 6 Okay, here is E. If I submit to the form, and then, uh, because this is no longer support, so I will receive a uh, notification that the app is no support anymore. So if I click to open the app, and you see that I'm not able to access to the app again. So that's for the web form, and the other is we also can add a new user directly from uh, from the this uh, form. So let's say that I will need to change the app status from uh, active uh, to active the project first, and to allow uh, anyone with link can register. And then, for example, here, if I uh, register for the new user, here is admin, for example, and the user, user 7, for example, and here is a list of app. Then I will choose the, the current application active and save this one. And then, Let's, let's see how it uh, work. So you see that the user 7 is added to the application. And uh, for example, now if I going back to here and open the, the link, and I get that I'm be able to accept the app again. So you see that. And also, the last user flow is as soon as I uh, submit to the uh, user 7 and a new notification has sent to the onboardly uh, space. And uh, I also can add the new user directly from this, uh, this, um, this screen. So let me uh, uh, delist the user first to make that uh, I am no longer to access to the app. And then, so for example, if I uh, open the, the new user form here, and you see that the onboardly screen is appear. And here I will add the new user here. And the use is, for example, and here I will need to choose the name like previously. For example, uh, here the name, and I click save. And as soon as to uh, to add the user here, and we're going back to the the application, and you will see that we will, we see the new user here. So that is three way to automate the onboarding new user on onboardly and uh, the last one is uh, you see that uh, by using onboardly uh, in conclusion we uh, can easily i mean um, a fortlet in user app user uh, app assist a set and then it's unlock the opportunity to 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 build uh, the application like 
uh, SAAS product and um, we uh, also can, for example, if I build a great FC app and then I can uh, um, allow the base user to use my application by uh, using the anyone with link can register to you my application. On Botly is just more than an app. It is game changer for app seed developer. It is a tool that free you to focus on building amazing app while simplify user management and unlock new business opportunities. What are you waiting for? Visit my personal website and take your app development to the next level.